हाय फ्रेंड्स टू मिनट्स मैगी टेस्ट पार्ट थ्री मधे जी का एम सी क्यू तुम्हारा सॉल्व करना करता दिल्ली होती सोल्यूशन या वीडियो में मी आप सग स्वागत करते अपन ये वन बाय वन सर्व एम सी क्यू कशा पद्धति ने सॉल्व कराएँ मॉडल आन्सर्स का चेक करूँ हे सोल्यूशन्स केयरफुली बगा ज्यापैकी को ही सोल्यूशन मधे अपने का डाउट वाटस कि भाग नहीं समझलास अपन तंदर्भ शंका कॉमेंट बॉक्स मधे कि व्हाट्सअप द्वारे विचारू शकता सो लेट अस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील सॉल्व दी एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम इलास्टिटी एंड देन वील सॉल्व फ्रॉम दी फ्लूड मेकैनिक्स सो अवर फर्स्ट एम सी क्यू इज द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम ऑफ अ स्ट्रेचड वायर इज सो देर इज दी क्वेश्चन अबाउट स्ट्रेन एनर्जी एंड फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील राइट डाउन द फॉर्मुला दैट वी लर्न इन अवर वीडियो That is what is strain energy per unit volume. So the strain energy, the strain energy per unit volume is equals to one by two stress into strain. One by two stress into strain, or I can write it as one by two stress into strain. Now let us look towards the options. You can see that in all these options, the stress is absent, and in all of the options, Young's modulus y is present. So we will replace this stress in terms of Young's modulus. Then, what is the formula of Young's modulus? Young's modulus y is equals to stress upon strain. so from this formula we can write stress is equals to y into strain ya formula mode ite strain divided hai ikade un multiply hoil ta aplyala formula milala stress is equals to y into strain now let us put the value of stress into this formula formula of the strain energy per unit volume so we get strain energy per unit volume is equals to 1 by 2 into stress is to be replaced by y into strain so we get y into strain into strain from this formula strain so this is equals to this 1 by 2 into y is y by 2 into strain into strain is strain square so let us check the options you can see that the option a is y by 2 into strain square so answer to first mcq is a now let us come to the second mcq so here it is given that if s is stress y is young's modulus then strain energy per unit volume is again the mcq is on same formula only the symbols have been changed so what is strain energy per unit volume strain energy per unit volume is 1 by 2 stress into strain here we have to replace according to data some quantities according to, to data here stress is given and young's modulus is given but not this strain so we will replace this strain by again using the formula of young's modulus so young's modulus y is equals to stress upon strain from that we can say that strain is equals to strain is equals to ha strain is divided ikade on multiply hoil y ikade on divide hoil stress upon y but it is given that stress is s and young's modulus is y so this is s upon y so let us put the value of strain into this equation we get strain energy per unit volume is equals to this 1 by 2 as it is here we will put the symbol of stress given as s so this s into the formula of strain is equals to s upon y 
so the, this is equals to 1 by 2 into s into s upon y s into s is s square and this is 2 into y is s square upon 2y let us check with the options we can see that option a is answer to the second mcq similarly let us come to the third mcq the work done to increase the length of wire by elongation small l by applying a load mg is so this is about the work done and we have learned that work done w is equals to 1 by 2 load into elongation 1 by 2 load into elongation so here the load is given to be mg by applying a load mg so 1 by 2 into mg into elongation is given is that elongation given to be small l so this is equals to m g l upon 2 so let us check with the options so the answer should be equals to option c that is m g l upon 2 so this is about the first 3 m secures now we will solve the remaining 3 m secures so now let us solve the question number 4 A 1 meter long steel wire of cross sectional area 1 millimeter square is elongated by 1 mm. So we have, we have been given that length of the wire is 1 meter and its original cross sectional area is 1 millimeter square which is equals to 1 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter square. So this millimeter square is not SI unit. So we converted it into meter square. So this conversion gives us 10 raised to power minus 6 meter square. Then it is elongated by 1 mm. So elongation small m is given. It is 1 mm. Again it is it is required to convert it into SI unit. So we get 1 mm is equals to 10 raised to power minus 3 meter. If y is equals to 2 into 10 to power 11, then work done is, we are required to calculate work done in this elongation. So as we have already done, work done is equals to 1 by 2 load into elongation. Work done is equals to 1 by 2 load into elongation. So if you concentrate on to the data, we are given with the elongation but not the load instead the young's modulus is provided to us what does this mean to solve this mcq we will have to replace this load from this young's modulus using this young's modulus so what is formula of young's modulus young's modulus is stress upon strain so what is stress stress is force upon area what is strain strain is change in length upon original length so if we further solve this we get f into capital l upon a into small l where f is load now we can get the formula load in terms of young's modulus so f is equals to a into l it is divided you can multiply with so we get y into a into small l upon the original length capital L is multiplied here if brought to this side will become divided so we get f is equals to y a into small l upon capital L let us put this into the formula of work done we get work done w is equals to this 1 by 2 as it is now the formula of load as derived here is y a into small l upon capital L into elongation is small l. So we get formula which is equals to 1 by 2 into y into a into l into l is l square upon capital L. 
हे तुम्हाला समजावं म्हणून मी हा फॉर्म्युला डिराईव्ह करून दिला एरवी आपल्या थिरी लेक्चरमध्ये ऑलरेडी आपण हा फॉर्म्युला डिराईव्ह केलेला आहे यू कॅन डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट द सोल्युशन बाय युझिंग धिस फॉर्म्युला सो नाव वील जस्ट पुट द व्हॅल्यू ऑज गिवन फ्रॉम दी डेटा वी हॅव गिवन वाय ए इलॉंगेशन अँड ओरिजिनल लेंथ so we get work done w is equals to this 1 by 2 as it is into young's modulus y is 2 into 10 raised to power 11 into elongation is cross sectional area a is 1 into 10 raised to power minus 6 into l square is 10 raised to power minus 3 whole square divided by capital l capital l is 1 meter so this 2 and 2 cancel so we get 10 raised to power 11 into 10 raised to power minus 6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 whole square is 10 raised to power minus 6 this is 10 raised to power 11 into 10 raised to power Minus six minus six is minus twelve. That is ten raised to power eleven minus twelve is minus one, which must be equals to zero point one joule. So answer to first sorry answer to the fourth MCQ is option A zero point one joule. Then again let us come to question number five. When strain is produced in a body within elastic limit. its internal energy this is a theoretical question remains constant decreases increases and first increases and then decreases so its simple answer is strain energy increases so when we apply load to any elastic material then the molecules are stretched away from each other that's why the intermolecular forces are increased which which in turn increases the strain energy of the body so when a strain energy is produced in a body the elastic within elastic limits its internal energy is so its internal energy increases then let us come to the sixth mcq when the load on wire increased from 20 newton to 40 newton so we are given that load f1 is equals to 20 newton and f2 is equals to 40 newton elongation increases from so initially elongation l1 is 0.6 mm it reaches to 1 mm so l2 is equals to 1.0 mm the work done in this process is so first of all we will calculate the initial work done by using this data then we will calculate the final work done using this data and then subtraction of these two will give us work done in increasing the length of the wire from 0.6 mm to 1 mm so first of all let us calculate initial work done w1 so w1 is equals to again the same formula 1 by 2 load into elongation 1 by 2 f1 into l1 so this is equals to 1 by 2 f1 is 20 newton and l1 is 0.6 mm so 0.6 so mm is required to be converted into meter so 10 raised to power minus 3 because the option all given are in joule so we will convert the data into si units so now this 2 and 20 cancel this is 10 so we get 10 into 0.6 is 6 6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 joule now similarly we will calculate the work done in second uh, stage so w2 is equals to 1 by 2 f2 into l2 which is equals to 1 by 2 in this case the load applied is 40 newton and elongation produced is 1 mm which is 1 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter so here again 2 and 40 cancel this is 
20 into 1 is 20 20 into 10 raised to power minus 3 joule so here we get initial work done and final work done so work done in elongating the wire from 0.6 mm to 1 mm will be equal to subtraction of these two so we get work done delta w is equals to w2 minus w1 which is equals to 20 into 10 raised to power minus 3 minus 6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 so here the power 10 raised to power minus 3 common in both the bracket so we get 20 minus 6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 which is equals to 14 into 10 raised to power minus 3 joule now let us check the options you can see that 14 is present only in option b but the power is 10 raised to power minus 2 so we'll shift the decimal by one place we get 1.4 it upon number lan kela power motor wheel so 10 raised to power minus 3 plus 1 is 10 raised to power minus 2 so 1.4 into 10 raised to power minus 2 joule is our answer which is option b so this is regarding the six mcqs of the chapter elasticity based on strain energy so now we will try to solve the mcqs based on the thermal stresses and thermal strength so the first mcq is which stresses are induced in a member when expansion or contraction due to temperature variation is prevented jeva konte elastic member madhe temperature variations mule shakya asthera expansion kiwa contraction he prevent kelela asta so it is given that this expansion or contraction is prevented which type of stress is developed option a is compressive stress b is tensile stress c is thermal stress and last is none of these so as we have learned into our video that when the expansion or expansion or contraction due to the variation in temperature is prevented thermal stresses are developed into the member so our answer to first mcq is option c now let us go to the second mcq a steel rod is heated from 25 degree celsius to 250 degree celsius its coefficient of linear expansion alpha is 10 raised to power minus 5 ohm and Young's modulus is 100 giga Newton per meter square. If the rod is free to expand, the thermal stress developed in it is 100 kilo Newton per meter square, 240 kilo Newton per meter square, C is 0 and D is infinity. So here if you concentrate on to one word, that is the thermal expansion if the rod is free to expand means the thermal expansion is not prevented it a rod madhe hu shaknara thermal expansion prevent kelela nahi hai tya mule konte hi prakar che stresses tayar honar nahi ultimately apan asa manu shakto ki ya thikani tayar honare thermal stresses he kiti astil zero so our answer is c now let us come to the MCQ number 3 a steel rod of length capital L and diameter small d fixed at both ends is uniformly heated to temperature rise delta t so rise in temperature is given rise in temperature is delta t if Young's modulus is E so it is given that y is equals to E and alpha is unity then the thermal stress in the rod is so we are required to calculate the thermal stress so already we learned the formula of thermal stress is thermal stress is equals to y into alpha into delta t Young's modulus into coefficient of linear expansion into change in temperature so here the value of y is given to be e the value of alpha is 1 and the change in temperature is delta t so this should be equals to e into delta t which is our option c 
So this, this is about the first three MCQs. Now we will solve the remaining three MCQs. Now let us solve question number four. So it is given that what is final length of a steel rod? Where alpha is 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 per Kelvin. If initial length of the steel rod is 80 centimeter and temperature changes from 20 degree Celsius to 50 degree Celsius. And these are the options. So we are required to calculate the final length of the steel rod. For that we will first of all calculate the elongation. And what is the formula of elongation? Elongation produced due to temperature change in any rod is given as small l is equals to alpha into original length l into change in temperature delta t. Here let us put one by one values. Alpha is 12 into 10 days to power minus 6 into original length is 80 centimeter and the change in temperature is the temperature changed from 20 degree to 50 degree so change in temperature final minus initial 50 minus 20 is 30 here you have to keep in mind two things the alpha is given to be per degree kelvin and the temperature rise is given into degree celsius so even if temperature rise is given into degree Celsius that is from 20 degree Celsius to 50 degree Celsius even if you convert it into Kelvin and then find the change in temperature delta T final temperature minus initial temperature it will come to be 30. The Yatikani alpha 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 per Kelvin difference in temperature ha Kelvin madhe kaadal paise parantu Kelvin madhe jari tumi kaadla final temperature minus initial temperature will become 30. Next thing is what about this 80 centimeter should it be should it be converted into meter. So here we are required to calculate final length and let us check all options. All options are given in centimeter. So we will calculate the elongation in centimeter. That's why we didn't change changed it to the meter. So now let us calculate this. This is equals to 12 into 80 this is 960 into this 30 into 10 raised to power minus 6. So now let us calculate this 960 into 30. So I will calculate here 960 into 30. So this 0 into 0 is 0. 6 into 3 is 6 3 is 18 carry is 1. 9 3 is 27 plus 1 is 28. So this comes equals to 28800. 0. So put here value, we get 28800 0, 0 into 10 to power minus 6 centimeter. So to uh, remove this 10 to power minus 6, let us uh, place, displace this decimal 5 places, 6 places behind. So here you can see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 means 1 0 is required to be taken. So this is equals to 0 0.0288 centimeter. So this 0 0.0288 centimeter can be expressed as 0 0.02 and this 88 can be written as 9. So we get the elongation small l is equals to 0 0.029. Now let us check the options. You will see that the, this value is not present into any option. Why? Because we are not asked with the calculation of elongation only. Apple of the elongation card is nine. The elongate xylanthor final length card. So what will be final length? Final length will be equals to final length L dash will be equals to initial length plus elongation produced. So the initial length is 80 centimeter and elongation produced is 0 0.029 so this is equals to 80.029 centimeter now we'll check the options which is our option d so this is all about the mcq number 4 now mcq number 5 the length 
comma Young's modulus and coefficient of thermal expansion of rod P are twice as that of rod Q. So two rods are given. One rod is rod P and second is rod Q. And the data is given that the length, that is a length of rod P, is double of rod Q. The Young's modulus and coefficient of thermal expansion of P are also double as that of Q. What will be the ratio of stresses developed in bar P to that in bar Q if the thermal, if the temperature of both bars increased by the same amount? So, for bar P, we will give some symbols to these quantities. So, let length be equals to L1, Young's modulus be equals to Y1 and coefficient of thermal expansion be equals to alpha 1. Similarly, for bar Q, these quantities can be taken as L2, Y2 and alpha 1. Now, what is given that the quantities of P are twice as that of Q. So, we can say that L1 is equals to 2 times of L2, Y1 is equals to 2 times of Y2 and alpha 1 is equals to 2 times of alpha 2, alpha 2. Now, we have to calculate the ratio of stresses developed in P to that in Q, the temperature of both bars increased by same amount. So, if the temperature of P increases by delta T, then the that of Q also increases by same amount delta T. We have to calculate the ratio of stresses. So, what is formula for thermal stress? So, the thermal stress is given as thermal stress is given as Y into Y into alpha into delta T. So, for the P wire, this will be equals to thermal stress in P. So, the thermal stress in P, thermal stress in wire P upon thermal stress in wire Q will be equals to. For P, the values are Y1, alpha 1 and delta T. For Q, values are Y2, alpha 2 into delta T. So, here delta T and delta T cancel. So, now put value of y1 and alpha 1. y1 is equals to 2 times of y2 and l1 is equals to 2 times of l2. Alpha 1 is equals to 2 times of alpha 2. So, we get 2 times of y2 into 2 times of alpha 2 divided by y2 into 2 into alpha 2. So, y2 and y2 cancel, alpha 2 and alpha 2 cancel. So, we get 2 into 2 is equals to 4. So, which is our option C. So, this is the answer to the question 5. Now, we will try to solve question number 6. The thermal stress is function of P coefficient of linear expansion Q modulus of elasticity and R temperature rise. Options are P and Q, Q and R, only P and only R. So, we learn that the thermal stress is given as the thermal stress, the thermal stress is given as Young's modulus Y into coefficient of linear expansion alpha into rise in temperature delta T. So, for a given material, for a given rod or for a given element, the Young's modulus y and the coefficient of linear expansion are constant as those are the functions of material of the rod. Then we can say that this thermal stress is directly proportional to, this thermal stress is directly proportional to only delta T that is only rise in temperature. So, Dilelea element karta Young's modulus y and alpha या material चा property आसले मुले दिलेले मेले element मदे तैर होनारे thermal stresses हे पूर्णता rise in temperature चे function आसता 
सो राइज इन टेम्परेचर ऑप्शन है आर दैट्स वाई अवर आंसर शुड बी ओनली आर सो दिस दिस इज दोल्यूशन टू सिक्स एम सी क्यूज बेस्ड ऑन थर्मल स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेंथ